Good afternoon. We're gonna be talking about how Apple's kind of f themselves in the ass with this whole battery thing. As we covered in this video, we know that Apple is intentionally slowing down old iPhones because their batteries are getting old. <laughs> Which in itself is kind of retarded to me because, I mean, think about it. The standard life of a lithium ion battery, regardless of what phone it's in, is around two years. So why? Like it just, it makes no, just the that excuse alone doesn't make a whole lot of sense at all, other than making a lot of sense for Apple's bottom line came up with that one on the fly, I like that. On average, after about two years, then the battery starts losing its capacity and doesn't hold up as much and blah blah blah, so why the f all of a sudden do the batteries are, or oh, you must be so careful with the batteries, only a year and then we have to like, slow them down because they, they just can't handle the- No, f off with that But anyway, this could adversely and significantly affect Apple's bottom line as far as cell phone sales go. Because I think it's safe to surmise that Apple lowered the battery replacement costs from $80 down to 30 because of public pressure. They got like hell ashamed, <laughs> as they should have. But now here's what's gonna happen. Now that everybody knows that, or everybody who cares, knows that once their iPhone starts slowing down, then they can go to Apple and pay 30 bucks to get a new battery installed and then poof, everything is great. And in my own personal experience, I've known several, many people over the years to come in and be like, hey, I want to buy a new phone, blah, blah, blah. Well, if I can do this and this, well, I don't need to get another upgrade. Like if their S4 is super slow and I fixed it for them and then now the pressure to get a new phone because to f solve the problems that I just fixed is a lot less. So they're a lot less compelled to get a new phone. Same thing with the iPhones. If somebody's iPhone is being really slow and pissing them the f off and not performing as it should as a result of Apple's f restrictions, then of course they would want to get a new phone because they think that's their only choice. Now that they can go in and pay 30 bucks and get a battery replacement and then everything should be hunky-dory for at least another six months, maybe even 12 months, what motivation do they have to buy another one? Very little. Like this applies to more than just Apple as a company. This applies to this applies to anybody. Like if you can give somebody a the new phone feel, or at least I mean I don't give a sh what you do with your phone, or if you say oh, well, all I do is like texting your phone, calling your Facebook. No, you want your phone to be fast. Like I you I want my phone to be slower. Said nobody ever. I just know. So if you knew that you could go into a place and not have to sign another agreement saying, oh, I'll pay for this 600 to 900 to a thousand dollar phone over the period of the next 24 months. Awesome. Instead of that, just being like 30 bucks. Okay. It's, it, it makes a lot of sense economically to just do it that way. Now there are those of us who don't just want the phone to be faster, but also want that new camera stabilization or that faster processor or that bigger battery or that larger amount of RAM and bigger screen, higher resolution, yada, yada, yada. That's us, like, because we like that kind of <laughs> But for a lot of others, all they want is the phone to function. And they want their phone to function in the cheapest way possible. So I think that because Apple has backed themselves, Apple have, have, has backed themselves into a corner with the public, it'll end up screwing them. And I'm, I can't wait to see like end of year reports for this year for Apple's earnings because it's been supposed that their bottom line will take a hit because of people only wanting to pay $30 to get their phone back up to speed, literally, instead of getting a whole new one like Apple wants them to. I would also like to give a huge thank you to John O'Brien, Unit Omega, and Christopher Caswell. All three of these guys jumped on the Scotty bandwagon on the Patreon page. I stay with my Scotties. My Scotties are my boys. I ride with them. And I put that on the generation. And let's not forget our super beamer, Mr. Patrick Hayes. Thank you so much, guys. Really, it means a lot. Also, there's been several of you who have requested a either a hat or a hoodie or a shirt or a mug. You can get all of those things. Actually, you know what? I haven't put the mug on the store yet. But the hat, shirt, and hoodie are available on beamedup.com. Just go to store and you can put it together just like you like it. You know, like Burger King. Take care of yourselves and start beaming.